Hi, welcome to another video. So, let me tell you about a workflow that I've been using that just makes so much sense. Use Opus 4.5 or Sonnet 4.5 in Kilo code for actually building and doing tasks, but then use GPT 5.2 Codex for reviewing the code. And the reason this works so well is that these models have completely different strengths. Claude's models are amazing at writing code, understanding context, and executing complex tasks. But when it comes to reviewing code and finding subtle bugs, security issues, and edge cases, GPT 5.2. Codex is just on another level. It's extremely detail-specific and can run for long periods on large repositories without losing focus. That's exactly what you want in a code reviewer. Now, you might be thinking, but what about CodeRabbit or Greptile for code reviews? And look, those tools are fine, but here's the thing. Both of them are largely based on Claude's Agent SDK and Opus under the hood, which makes them not very good for the specific task of deep code review. It's like using the same brain to write and review your own work. You want a different perspective. Plus, and this is the big one, none of them are really customizable. You're stuck with whatever defaults they give you. And that's where Kilo Code's code reviews feature really shines. So, let's talk about what makes Kilo Code's approach different. First, you can pick from over 500 AI models. That's not a typo, 500 models. So you can use GPT 5.2 Codex, which according to Kilo's own benchmarks, is absolutely crushing it for code reviews. In their testing, it completed reviews in about three minutes and found 13 issues total which was more than any other model they tested. It was the only model to catch an authorization bypass in task duplication, where users could create tasks in other accounts. That's a critical security bug that the other models missed entirely. Now, let me show you how to set this up. You go to your Kilo dashboard and find the Review Agent section. This can be in your personal dashboard or your organization dashboard if you're working with a team. First, you toggle the switch to enable automatic PR reviews. Then, you select your AI model. I'd recommend GPT 5.2 Codex for the reasons I mentioned. It found two critical issues that every other model missed, including a synchronous file write operation that was blocking the node.js event loop and a task search endpoint that was returning all system tasks instead of just user-specific data. That's the kind of detail you want in code review. Next, you set your review style. There are three options. Strict, balanced, and lenient. Strict mode flags all potential issues and prioritizes correctness and security. This is what you want for mission-critical code, production deployments, anything where bugs could really hurt you. Balanced mode is the most popular option. It surfaces important findings without being too noisy and prioritizes practicality. This is probably what you want for day-to-day -day development. Lenient mode only flags critical issues and uses an encouraging tone. This is great for work-in-progress reviews or prototypes where you don't want the AI nitpicking every little thing. Then you choose which repositories it can access. You can select specific repos instead of giving it access to everything, which is nice for security. Now, here's where the customization really kicks in. You can define focus areas. The agent can concentrate on specific things, like security vulnerabilities, which includes SQL injection, XSS, and credential exposure. It can focus on performance issues like N plus one queries and inefficient loops, bug detection for logic errors and edge cases, code style for formatting and naming conventions, test coverage gaps, and documentation deficiencies. So if your team is particularly concerned about security, you can tell it to prioritize that. 
If you're working on a performance-critical application, focus on that. You're not stuck with one-size-fits-all defaults. You can also set a maximum review time anywhere from 5 to 30 minutes. For GPT 5.2, the 3-minute average is actually quite reasonable for thorough reviews. But if you're doing high-velocity CI-CD, you might want to keep it shorter. And here's what I really like. You can add custom instructions. So you can tell it things like, our code base uses a specific authentication pattern, or we're migrating from X to Y, so flag any usage of the old pattern. That level of control is just not available in CodeRabbit or Greptile. Now, let me show you what happens when you actually open a pull request. The moment a PR is opened or updated, the agent kicks in automatically. It reads your diff and analyzes the changes. Then it posts feedback directly in GitHub. You get inline comments right on the specific lines of code, summary findings at the top, suggested fixes with actual code examples, and risk-slash-severity tagging, so you know what to prioritize. It shows up just like any other team reviewer in GitHub's PR interface. So there's no context switching, no separate tool to check. It's all right there in your normal workflow. The agent only analyzes the changed files, not the entire repository, which keeps reviews fast and focused. But it has enough context to understand how your changes fit into the broader code base. Now, one thing to keep in mind. You need to have GitHub integration configured in the Integrations tab before you can enable this. But that's a one-time setup. Currently, the compute and review time are actually free. So if you've been putting off trying this, now is literally the best time. The reason I keep going back to this GPT 5.2 point is that Kilo's own benchmarks showed it achieved 100% detection on planted security issues. Claude Opus 4.5 matched that detection rate, but GPT 5.2 had broader coverage overall. And Gemini 3 Pro? It only hit 39% detection and missed authorization checks that even the free models caught. So, model selection really matters here. So, my recommendation? Use Claude for building. Use GPT 5.2 for reviewing. That combination gives you the best of both worlds. You get Claude's excellent coding abilities for the creative work and GPT 5.2's obsessive attention to detail for catching what you missed. And with Kilo code, you can set all of this up in minutes. The customization options mean you're not fighting against defaults that don't fit your team's needs. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.